Okay, so here they tell us that this table tells us the number of visitors at a social networking site over a period of days, and they want us to draw the scatter plot below and label the outlier. Okay, so a scatter plot is simply um, a graph that sets up your x and y axis to create a bunch of individual points. Then you look for a trend, or in this case, you look for the point that really doesn't belong. So here, days will be our x axis, right? So days 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and y will be the visitors in the millions. And this is, right, social networking site. Okay, so what do we do? Well, we just plot the points here. If you have 1.48, right, treat it as a point. So it's 1 and then up 0.48. And if they don't give you the increments, right, look at the range here. I notice it goes from about 4.48 to 1.5. I'd go by, by, you know, by tenths here. So 1.48, then next point 2 is 2.5, a uh, 2, and then 0.56. So about up here, 3.68, right, keep going, 4.58. So it doesn't follow the exact trend, but it doesn't mean it's an outlier, it's, they're all pretty close to each other. Um, 5.62. 6 is 0.8. And then 7 is 1.5, which is actually beyond the scope of the graph I set up. Probably even up here, let's say. So that's our outlier, that point. And the idea is that all of these points are pretty close, let's say, to this line right here. But then this point is very far away in comparison. It's so it's certainly an outlier. So you know, any any time you're given a scatter plot with a bunch of points, set the points up. Try to find that line of best fit. If you have a point that's way out or way far away from that line, it's called an outlier. It's just something exceptional in the data. Thanks.